Hello from Cam Snaps. In this video, I'm going to talk about dies and adapters. What are they? How are they different? And why do you need them for your press? Here we have one of the presses that we sell at camsnaps.com. It doesn't have any dies attached. So without any dies, let's say I want to attach rivets. I have a rivet here. There's no place for me to actually place the rivet in the press. And that's why dies are needed. So I'll put the dies in the press. And now the press can actually hold the rivets to attach them. So every press needs dies to function. What's an adapter then? Well, in this particular case, an adapter is not needed. Let's say I want to use the same dies in this larger table press. This bottom die, the shank is a lot smaller than the hole in this larger press. And that's where the adapter comes in. The adapter is placed in the larger press to make that bottom hole smaller so that it can now fit the bottom die. You can't just use any dies for any fasteners. The dies have to fit the specific fasteners you want to install. Here we have line metal snaps, which we also refer to as utility spring snaps on our website. As you can see, each die piece is different, and that's because each snap piece is different. The dies are molded to exactly fit the snap piece. So you can see how they come together perfectly. These dies are for size 20 line metal snaps. Can you use the same dies for a different size of the same style of snaps? This top row is the size 20 and this bottom row is size 24. The answer is no. And you can see what happens if you were to try to use a snap size that is different than your die size. You'll see that it just doesn't fit. How about if we tried using a different style of metal snaps? This top row is our utility spring line metal snaps and this bottom row are fashion spring snaps. Even though they're both metal snaps, because the pieces are different shapes, they won't work with the same dies. You can see it doesn't fit. This piece works with this die, which is different than the original one. Another thing to mention is that sometimes what the fastener is actually made of matters too. In this case, these snaps are not stainless steel and these dies are intended to use with these snaps. So if you were to find stainless steel snaps that looked exactly like these, um, they would fit the dies, but once you put the dies in your press, nothing would actually happen because the dies aren't intended for use with stainless steel. They won't be able to apply the correct amount of pressure to get that press down against stainless steel. So for those reasons, it's important to pay attention when you're buying your dies. They should be compatible um, in terms of the style of the fastener, you know, vers uh, whether you're using metal snaps versus grommets versus rivets versus plastic snaps, um, the size of the fastener and the material makeup of the fastener. It's equally important that the dies are compatible with your particular press. Here are some of the presses that are sold at cabsnaps.com. And these are the corresponding dies for plastic snaps. These plastic snaps can fit in any one of these die sets. So in this case, you have to make sure that the die set you have will fit your specific press model. 
These are our basic pliers for plastic snaps. And this is the top shank that serves as the top die for this particular press. Now these are the dies that are intended for this um, press model, which is the KX8J. And you can see the top die attaches like that and the bottom die perfectly fits without any shifting. Here we have two cam table presses, the DK93 and the DK98. And you can see that the dies for each of these presses um, are also sized differently. The base of the dies are different because this model has a larger hole for the bottom die. And the top dies are different as well. This die has a um, screw-in shank, whereas this one has a smooth shank. The screw-in attaches to the DK93 model, just like that. Whereas the um, smooth shank one goes into the DK98 and it has this Allen wrench to hold it in place. Unfortunately, that means that you would usually need uh, a different die set for each different press. So even if you were working with the same plastic snaps, um, you would need this die set if you have this press and another um, different die set if you had this press. This is where the adapters come in. Remember our KX model dies? Um, these are the dies that fit our KX model presses. Our KX dies are actually the most flexible dies available because we have adapters that will make it so that these dies will fit these other presses. The top KX die will fit in the DK93 press without any problems. The bottom die, however, is too small to fit this large hole. And here we have an adapter base. This is the DK93, because this is a DK93 press, to KX adapter base. You place the base in the bottom hole of the DK93 press and now that hole becomes smaller so it can accommodate the smaller KX bottom die. Similarly, we have a different adapter set for the DK98 table press. Again, there's the bottom adapter so that the bottom KX die can fit that press. Here's the KX top die, which screws in. It would just screw in to this top adapter. And then the top die just goes up into the press. And is tightened with the Allen wrench. Just FYI, and just because our dies um, can fit in uh, multiple models of the presses that we sell, they won't necessarily fit um, presses that are sold elsewhere, and our adapters won't necessarily fit those other presses either. Again, that's why it's recommended that you purchase all of your supplies from the same source. That's to ensure compatibility between the press, the dies, and the fasteners. So with all the different dies and the multiple adapters and tools available, how do you know which one you need? First, just find the listing for the fastener that you want to work with. Let's just pick grommets here. Just scroll down a little to the product description. There will be a tab that says required tools. Just click on that and it'll list exactly what you need. If you're not sure, sure what tool you have, just click on this link that says 
which tool do I have? Um, otherwise, it lists the compatible tools that we sell. There's also a section on our site that lists all of the dies that we sell. Just click on the Tools and Starter Kits link and then select Table Press Tools and Dies. If you scroll down, you'll see all of the different dies we carry for our fasteners and our presses. If you click on any of our die listings, there will be a section in the product description that explains what tools you need to use that specific die. And you can always send us an email if you're still confused. Just scroll down to the bottom of our website. Um, there will be a contact link and you can send us an email there.